welcome to the lecture series on 805 and microcontroller uh, on the last uh, in the last lecture we were basically discussing the branching instructions of 8051 and we were doing uh, uh, jz instruction okay so i have written down a few instructions here to illustrate how jz functions okay so uh, the first instruction is move a comma r not so whatever is there in r not will get copied in a then this instruction jz over so let me write over here over is a label and after which some instructions would be written okay so what happens uh, this instruction basically checks sorry checks whether a is zero or not so if a is zero okay if a is zero then control moves here otherwise it go on executing the next instruction so again here it uh, moves a value r1 to a okay then again it is checking whether the accumulator is zero or not if it is zero okay then it moves to over otherwise it moves go on to execute the other instructions which are written after this jz over okay i hope uh, it is clear please uh, remember that jz uh, operates over only the accumulator accumulator similarly there is another instruction j n z so the function is similar except that it checks whether a is not zero okay here it was checking a was zero when it is zero it moves to this point here it will check when z when a is not zero then it will move to the uh, the the label so that's the difference okay okay let us uh, take one more uh, instruction which is uh, sorry j n c okay so jump if not carry so it basically checks the carry flag so if carry flag is zero then it jumps otherwise it goes on executing the successive instruction so let us take one example multiply the numbers 0 ech by 25 h using the technique of repeated addition okay so ec needs to be multiplied by 25 and if i am multiplying it i should get this result okay 8 bit 8 bit resultant will be a 16 bit number okay so one thing is clear that if you are not using add c instruction then i have to store the carry somewhere okay so we have to store the carry somewhere so that uh, we get the higher uh, 8 bits of the product okay so let's start so the first step is move r1 comma hat 0 we are basically storing uh, 0 in uh, r1 then move a comma hat 0 here we are again moving uh, uh, 0 to the accumulator sorry so a is having the value of 0 then uh, uh, move r0 comma hash 25 h so r0 r0 uh, is basically having the value of 25 h okay so at this point i should tell you that we are storing the value of 25 in r naught it is basically the count so this is the count this 25 is the count okay so basically r naught is acting as a counter then so let's start the looping instructions so add a comma hash ech so what it does it adds this number to a a was zero so ec gets added to it okay jnc here jump if not carry so no carry has been generated so what happens if no carry is generated then it will move to this point okay and if there would have been uh, a carry then that carry would have been stored in r1 so right now there is no carry so we move to here here in here uh, djnz instruction has been used which basically tell uh, basically checks the status of r0 so first it decreases r0 r0 was 25 now it becomes 24 and checks whether it is 0 or not it is not 0 so it moves to again again means here again uh, 
EC gets added to A. Again, we get EC. Okay. Then again, it checks whether there is a carry or not. If there is no carry, it moves to here. And then again, R0 is decremented. It is now 23. And again, it moves to again. So again, A gets added by EC. And this steps goes on until in some of these steps, carry will be generated. In that case, R1 will be incremented by 1. Okay. And rest of the process remains same until we add all the uh, ECs 25 times. We are basically adding EC 25 times. So that means EC into 25. So finally, if you run it, you will get uh, the value, the, the, uh, the MSB. MSB will be stored in A. So then it uh, ultimately is uh, moved to R0 and r1 will be carrying the l uh, sorry the lsb will be in a and it will be stored in r0 and msb will be carrying r1 okay similarly you can understand the uh, functioning of uh, nc sorry uh, the nc uh, j so not jc jc instruction jump if carry so when carry flag is equals to uh, one then jump happens otherwise jump do not happen and instruction executed sequentially let us look into let us look into one more instruction which is c j and e uh, sorry c j and e okay so c j and e is uh, compare and jump if not equal compare and jump if not equal so it could have any of the four forms that i have listed here so let us take the uh, one example for the first form so c j n e uh, a comma hash 25 and comma uh, say down d o w n down okay so what it means so basically it compares a with the number 25 and if if not equal then jump to the location pointed by down this level down i hope it is clear similarly take the other case so c j n e c j n e a comma uh, uh, 25 h say i'm not writing hash here only 25 h and then comma uh, down down so what happens here it compares the content of a with the content of of 20 memory 20 uh, pointed by location 25 h and if they are uh, if they are not equal then jump to the location down and if they are equal then move on to the subsequent instruction and go on executing it similarly we can take the third example c j n e uh, now r e r r this r r r the small r could be anything from 0 to 7 so let me take uh, say r not r not uh, comma hash 25 h and then again comma down so here also it carry, compares the content of r not with 25 it is not equal then it moves to down otherwise go on executing the next instruction then take the last of the form c j n uh, e c j n e at the rate r p r p uh, uh p means it could either be uh, 0 or 1 okay so at the rate r not comma say i'm writing hash 25 again here and comma down so basically it compares the content of uh, the memory location pointed by r not with 25 and it they are not equal moves to down otherwise go on executing the next instruction so this is c j n e instruction and uh, it is a bit simple now come to the various uh, uh, jump instruction the conditional jump instruction associated with bit these were byte instructions remember up till now we discussed the jump related to byte now let's discuss uh, the conditional jump related to bit okay so let's start with the first one say so jc jc uh, 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 not jc sorry not jc jb 
jb and bit comma r address r address okay so what happens here so basically uh, here the bit value so bit could be anything say for example i am taking say uh, jb p0.0 .0, comma okay uh, and then down down is the label okay so jb jump if bit is 1 so if this is equal to 1 then it jumps to the position shown by down otherwise it's execute the subsequent instruction okay then similarly we have another instruction similar j n b okay j n b bit comma r address okay so what happens here it compares the bit say in this case let me take the example of uh, this bit could be address also say i'm taking 0 1 0 1 h okay 0 1 h so j n b 0 1 h comma say i'm writing down so it checks uh, the content of this bit uh, address 0 1 if it is not equal to 1 uh, n b j n b not 0 okay so j b is jump if bit equals to 1 j n b means jump if bit is equal to 0 yeah not 1 not 1 means is 0 so jump if this location is equal to 0 where to the position <coughs> down to the position down okay now similarly we could have uh, one more uh, looping instruction for this uh, boolean condition and that is jbc jbc so jbc bit comma r address okay uh, quite similar to the uh, j b here the carry bit c y the carry bit is checked okay so uh, 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 okay excuse me j, j b c excuse me j b c is not uh, related to carry but it is jump if bit is equal to one and complement before jumping okay yeah clear before jumping so basically if i am writing jbc j uh, b c j b c and i am writing say p0.0 .0 and comma say i am writing down here then it checks the content of p0.0 .0. if p0.0 .0, say for example 0.0, .0 is equal to 1 so uh, what it do uh, so p0.0 .0, it jumps it jumps and in the process it also clear this bit so make this equal to 0 okay so this is jbc instruction